I might make a, the vagina cheer. I think it would fly. The you hippies would be all you over. You know we're rolling, right? It would. Uh, the hippies would be all over. It would. It the would. hippies would be all over. Something for everybody, not the hippies. <laughs> We cooked eggs, we cooked um, green peppers, and the main ingredient was cheese. We used government cheese. There was about a billion uses besides a grilled cheese sandwich with this big ass block of cheese. Actually, this is a small one. This, is the, this must be the, the newest model. Right. The cheese we used to get is about the size of a phone book. And, uh, and, and we would... the block was the size of a regulation size craft single. Oh, really? Yeah, it was that big. Okay. It was like the size of a craft or whatever single. But so it was like a log. Okay. And we used to take a knife and we seesaw on the side like, to, to, to <laughs> break it down and then put it on the bread with the, with the, with the, with the peppers, the uh, onions, and you put that inside of the grill. And 20 minutes later, you got your little fake pizza. You know what was the shit about this? Not waiting in line, because the line was always long as shit. The thing about it is, every time you see a line now, you say, that was like a cheese line. Mm. The analogy came from the welfare cats, which, you know, we were one of them, waiting in line for the cheese, man. Couldn't wait to get that cheese. It was good cheese, too. It was like, with the, it's all right. The, the nice and salty. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it became like an icon. I mean, government cheese, everybody started identifying with it. It just came out of nowhere because when they first came out with it, there's no such thing as government cheese. All of a sudden, you're getting these big ass blocks of. Cheese. I mean, everybody can identify with it now. Some people couldn't, but I never thought of anything. Some people thought it was a, a, something a shame associated with me. I was just like glad to eat. This is like a symbol of my boulevard of broken dreams from the '80s, because it's like no, it's a, we we can't afford craft singles and. You know, we can't afford Del Vita. Look at those commercials of that nice melty cheese and Crash you know. I still can't afford craft singles. It just seemed like a just a craft singles just, are disgusting. I don't yeah, want to afford the the time. <laughs> craft singles. But I think we should have a moment of silence for Mr. President Ronald Reagan for a lot of bestowing upon us this magnificent cheese. Thank was you, Ronald. Ronald yes, moment, was, of, moment yes, of silence. That's Ronald enough. Reagan. Yeah, thank you, Reagan, for the cheese so that we could eat and adults, after black people in the 80s did not have to kill their children and eat them. Really? We, it was Reagan that introduced that? I, I, I think we went back one That was the Reagan it program, the Reagan. man, with the cheese. Yeah, the with 80s. the cheese and the juice. Interesting. Yeah. The things you learn in this program. Um.